Welcome back to the channel. Now the other day I got myself a baggie, or an athe, and I realized I had nothing to smoke it out of. It. I didn't have a bowl, this is the bowl I'm using now, this is even the bowl that I had missing. Uh, I let my girlfriend borrow it, and I never got it back. Well, I got it back the other day, but this is the bowl I've been using. And I realized, I was like, man, I got nothing to smoke out of, what am I gonna do, da 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 And then I remembered how to make these old, not really old, but these cheap, reusable water bottles. And today, I figured, in case there's anybody else out there like me, who either broke a bowl or lost a bowl, like my bong broke the other day. Just straight up broken half the glass piece. It was a silicone bowl, but the glass uh, tube broke in half, and so I had nothing. And so I made one of these, and I figured I'm also show everybody else how to if they don't know how to already. Okay. Method is really easy for making a homemade uh, water bong slash pipe type thing. I mean, it doesn't really use water. It uses a bottle of any kind. I've used Gatorade bottles. I've used water bottles. This. Uh, protein bottle and I was thinking about using a two liter but I never got around to it. Anyways, besides that, this is really easy to make. All you need is three simple ingredients. You need a water bottle. Actually you need four, my bad. You need a water bottle, a bit of tin foil. It's back here somewhere. A little pokey thing, wherever the heck I put it. I hope I didn't drop it. This little pokey thing, it's a little needle thing for uh Sewing, I got it because I have a little sewing kit in there. Using a needle or something this small uh, to poke holes into the tin foil. That's the other thing. That's that's it. it. And also, you need a knife, but I don't have one to be able to poke holes through this. So I'm gonna use a trick and this drill bit. Anyways, using something like this to poke the holes into the tin foil is actually very useful because it makes the holes not too big that the weed can fall through, but it also, especially grounded up weed, because that is very notorious for falling through things, but as long as you have something about this size, um, poking holes, you just have to poke a bunch, I'll show you here in a bit when I get to it. Cut my tin foil, or I ripped it into a little bit smaller of a piece, you do want a couple layers of tin foil so the heat doesn't melt right through it, but you don't want something big like I had, something about this size, like if I put a cigarette pack up to it, like this is a 100 pack. You see, something about this size, like three about there, and it will do just fine. First step is to, of course, take the lid off. You don't need the lid. Chuck it wherever. I shouldn't have done that because I'm about to pick it up. But that is the first step. You can also take off this wrapping if you want. I'm going to do that. Uh, and maybe you can use a plastic spinny thing. But it doesn't really matter. As long as you don't have the lid on there, you're good to go. This next step is not very hard, but you want to make sure to do it semi-right. So you take, actually that's the wrong piece, you take your piece of tin foil, what you do is you take it into a corner, and then you make sure to wrap around, and you push a little bit into an indent to almost make like a little bowl. So you push that in, and then you fold all the your piece over like this to give it another layer. And then if you still have more like this, I'm never going to use this, so I don't really care, but if you still have more, you can fold it over. I can't really see through the camera in a second. Smush it down just like if you're making a tin foil ball, and then just make sure there's a little, almost like a crater, a little indent right there, just so the weed can sit in it and it won't easily fall out. If you get this far, it's not looking very good because I, as I said, I'm never going to use this one. I probably use it once. But what you do after that, let me fix the lighting a little bit. Okay, so now this part, it's not very tricky and I'm not going to show most of it on camera because I have to hold the light so you can actually see it, but let me get in there just a little bit so you can see it. But basically what you need to do is you need to just take the pin or the needle or whatever and space out, they don't have to be evenly spaced out, but just space out the uh, holes all throughout this little bowl that you've made with the tin foil. Space enough that air can easily go through, like close enough that like a lot of air can go through, but far enough away that no weed ground it up or like whatever will fall down through. Like you can, this might take a little bit, probably most five minutes. I'm not gonna spend too much time on it, but you get the gist. Like if I can zoom in, hold on, pull this back, zoom right on in, and I can even bring it up some. You can see there's there's holes. Can't really see because the quality is not that good, but you know, you just take your needle and poke your holes all throughout it, and then you'll be good. 
as you can see here got a little bit closer look I poked a good amount of holes in the top just to let enough air go through I don't know if too much is enough I don't fucking know all I know is you poke the holes and to get around here I normally poke a lot more and a lot to where the weed will rest within the bowl but you know if you just want a quick fix just go right on ahead okay so this far in we have the bowl made with the tin foil we have the holes poked we have whether you wanted to take off the wrapping or not and you have the bottle of your choice now normally you would use a knife for this step but all of my knives are inside and i don't feel like i'm going to get them so what i'm going to do is and this is also a tri tip trick whatnot if you don't have a if you don't have a knife is you just get something metal like i just happen to have this drill bit laying around get something metal get that nice and hot and it should just poke right through that plastic with ease. I'm about to light this, but I remember that one important thing, you need to put this up to your mouth, and you need to get to where you're comfortable, to where you're not gonna not only, not, you don't have to hold it straight up in the air, but you're not gonna spill the weed, or you, so somewhere around here to where if you put your mouth right here and be able to hit it, or if you're, you go from the other side and be able to hit it, that the weed will not only not roll out, but you can just, you know, it's not gonna burn your forehead to look straight up while trying to use this, right? Because you have to light it from up here. Anyways, let me do that. Come back, so it turns out that trick wasn't really working well because not only was the drill bit itself uh, heat treated and meant to withstand high amounts of heat, everything else in this shop was the same, heat resistant, whatever it's called. So uh, I had nothing, I had to go inside and grab this knife. But it's fine because it's what I used for the last two ones that I've actually used and it'll be for this one. So I wanted it somewhere around here. It doesn't take a big hole. These are, oh, I dropped it. Ah! I shouldn't have smoked before starting this. Anyways, so you know, it doesn't need a big hole, just like a little, I mean, I'll show you about the size that I normally make for mine, which I don't know what other people do, because I don't really, you know, I just do my own thing. Now, this will get stuck, sadly, hold on, it's hard to do this through the camera, so let me just try to get it focused, and then get it cut real quick, and I can talk afterwards. There we go. So it's basically cut. Uh, I'm not gonna worry about it. That will stick there. You can do some with cutting here and there. Why the? Well, I guess the battery is charged up enough to use the flash. Anyways, so just make a little hole big enough to put your mouth on. This is one of those little mini Gatorade bottles. So I normally sometimes would put a carb in it. You don't have to. I will show you mine with a carb. Um, I'm not gonna be able to use all of these because I don't have enough weed. But I will use it on this one and maybe my better one. I know it took a little bit longer because I'm honestly a little high, but I, uh, you know, here it is. This is a quick and easy, all you need is some tin foil, a knife, a little pokey thing. You can even use a knife. I actually have one that I used, a something small that wasn't as small as a needle, but it was pretty small, and it, it didn't really work well, and I'll show you what happens with that here in a second. Okay, so I'm actually going to go over my kind of worst one before I go over my better one. This is one that I threw together within like 10 minutes because I wanted to smoke and as you can see here, it does not have a carb. This is the hole. Uh, as you see, I really didn't care. I just wanted to hold smoke out of and I think I, yeah, 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 I did add a carb. This is the carb. This is the hole I smoke out of. I added a carb afterwards because I wanted to test to see if a carb would help. Uh, I didn't really tell and I didn't have enough weed to you know, run a lot of tests, so I just basically said, eh, fuck it, if it doesn't, it doesn't, if not, I can just put my finger over it and smoke. Anyways, as you can see, um, I did not use needles on this. It's hard to focus the camera and, uh, to hold the light and hold the thing. But yeah, here's this. Uh, I didn't use any needles, as you can see. These are some pretty big assholes, especially that, like, second one right there. There's the light. Um, and as a result... Let me just put this light back up on the thing. Ugh. As a result, a lot of weed escapes into the thing. Now, so I know a lot of people would not smoke this weed. I'm actually, after this video, I'm going to cut this open. Because I'm going to throw this away afterwards. I was going to throw it away, but I decided to make a video. I'm going to cut this open and get out all that weed. Because uh, I'm almost out, and why would I waste perfect good weed? And also, some of it might be resin. But, uh, as you can see, that's definitely weed. Uh, right there might be some resin. But yeah. 
So that's why you want to make them little holes so weed doesn't get down in here and you don't have to fish out old nasty ass weed. Because it will get wet in here, I will say this, after a while your the moisture of the air and your breath will get this wet. And so that's why if you are going to do it, let it dry and scrape out all the weed. Now on to the last one. Now this is my very, very good, I spent a good 20 minutes making this. And you might be like, oh 20 minutes isn't a lot. but for a water bottle pipe it's a good bit and it was before I even started smoking so here's my breathing tube I hold it about this angle that way I can reach up here and light it and the weed uh, normally doesn't roll out uh, here's my carp so I put it here to smoke it and then up here is my holes actually poked a good amount of them you can actually see because the flash is on now poked a good amount up in here especially where it likes to um, it likes to set around wherever it's black. Sometimes it likes to be up here, but it really likes to set in this area, especially since I hold it. So I put poked more holes in after I finished up in here. And yeah, that's my good one. That was basically it. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. I have some other videos planned where I make other homemade, like I have a homemade bong planned. I have uh, other tips and tricks so if you're running out of supplies and how to scrape resin and what keep is and all that just for beginners because i know when i started up it was very hard for me to get into it because the only thing i learned i jumped straight into it i went from smoking nothing jumping straight into it and with bongs and pipes and hookahs and blunts and joints and all that and i had no clue what i was doing so i figured i'd be able to get back to the community that made me who i am as you can see uh and uh just teach some of the younger kids, not young kids of course, but like, if you're 21 and older and you don't know how to do it, you know, I'm 21, you know, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, so I'm going to finish this video off with smoking a little bit of heat I have, and then I might throw in a clip of me smoking uh, whatever's left in my other bomb bottle thingy, and one of these. Anyways, I hope you enjoy. Cheers. Oh, that's